rubber scale. A. The floor at Julian's ballet school was slightly bouncy with a glossy gray coating that allowed them to slip. Sometimes before the teacher arrived, the girls would perform what they considered to be superhuman, gravity-defying gymnastic feats. She sensed, even as a child, that there were certain acceptable ways of enjoying oneself in ballet class. The perfection of form, expression through music, articulation of the human drama. But to be polite and not to appear odd to the other kids, Julian would turn a few cartwheels or lean backward into a bridge form so that she could kick her legs over her head and return to a standing position. But these were not the things for which she would be rewarded. Her mother, Willa, had enrolled her in lessons when she was three years old. She did not realize that she could simply stop going until she was in high school. But by the time she was six, Julian looked forward to them. The studio was a place of peace, where her natural tendencies and form were exalted. She was precise in her movements, but not rigid. Limber, but not in a grotesque, double-jointed, gumby way. Graceful, but not fussy. Tall, but not lanky. Talented, but not so much that she might sacrifice her bloodied feet at the altar of Balanchine. She attracted both admiration, lead roles, and contempt being called Little Miss Muffet, in the studio, and it embarrassed her to be held out as an example, because she was not sure what she was doing that gained so much approval. She maintained simply that if one could not perform a plié correctly, one was not performing a plié.